Hey guys, it's Mark from Team Hobby Vault. So this weekend we just saw the World Championship happen and I mean it was Salomon Grey everywhere. Like I mean it was going to be from the band list that was available so why not but damn just Salomon Grey everywhere. There was like one or two doors playing Thunder but you know all credit to them. Everyone worked extremely hard to get to where they got to and you know to be able to play in that sort of setting is immense. The stage was nuts. Um, but what we did see come out of the weekend was the announcement for the promotional items that you'll find in the gold sark tins. Um, and people were actually able to get hold of gold sark tins uh, as just for attending the event. And so I thought I'd do a quick one and show you three significant ones. You've probably seen them, but these, these, these are going to be big. These are what you're going to want to buy tins for. So uh, let's check them out. Okay, so first, here's the first of three. There's 14 promos in total. Some of them are reprints, some of them are rehashes. But the first one I want to show you was Dark Ruler No More. Now, this is a spell card. Nothing fancy. Standard spell. Um, but reads, negate the effects of all face-up monsters your opponent currently controls until the end of this turn. Also, for the rest of this turn, after this card resolves, your opponent takes no damage. Neither player can activate monster effects in response to this card's activation. Now, this is a Mono Owado in a card. Bang, there you go. Um, I mean, you're not going to OTK through this for obvious reasons. It says right there in the text, takes no damage. So we, there's a few things that come in with this. Um, so first of all, the card has to resolve for you to not take no damage so if it gets negated or anything like that then you, you that's the rest of it carrying on um the other interesting thing is the conditioning of the card so some people might be familiar with super poly it says you can't interact with this card that sort of thing uh and so on but uh, this one says neither player can activate monster effects in response to this card activation a lot of negates at the moment come directly from monsters themselves so there'll be no oh hot red negate it's not happening just not um so really good big potential uh whether it has much use yet i don't know there's a lot of premise with these cards being that these cards are good they are well designed whether they see their play yet is another thing so Dark Ruler No More, rate very highly, very well designed, very, very good. So next we have Dimension Shifter. So Dimension Shifter, uh, again, is another card with very specific requirements. So it reads, if you have no cards in your graveyard, quick effect, so, you know, nice little chain there. You can send this card from your hand to the graveyard until the end of the next turn. So, i.e., your end of your opponent's next turn, uh, your opponent's turn, uh, any card sent to the graveyard is banished instead. I mean, that's dark law. The 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 conditioning under it of it need like cards are banished. Uh, no cards in graveyard can make it very interesting. Certain decks may benefit from this hugely. I know, uh, is it Metaphys? Does a lot of banishment stuff. Um, uh, you can imagine through some means of sending dragons, uh, thunder dragon cards from hand directly to their banish. If you're doing anything like that, gaining effects, pretty nice. So this is like a new form of hand trap. Again, very well designed. It's very specific requirements. Has the ability to be very, very good. Um, it just depends on your deck and this is not something that you're going to go instant to I, I don't know if it's even a side worthy card um i mean against orcus if stuff is just straight up banished then that's a bonus i mean you're going to be playing this if you're going second i would imagine but yeah so that's a dimension shifter now the third one in this case is nibiru the primal being this is Max C on steroids. Yeah. So it reads, during the main phase, if your opponent normal special summoned five or more monsters this turn. So that's five individual monsters. It's not like, oh, I penned five. That's one special summon. 
No, this is monster counting. Um, quick effect. So again, nice little chain you can have. You can tribute as many face-up monsters on the field as possible. And if you do, special summon this card from your hand. And then special summon one primal being token, which is a rock light level 11 attack query defense query to your opponent's field the tokens attack and defense combine the original attack and defense of the tributed monsters you can only use the effect of nibiru the problem of being once per turn that's nuts so you you see it counts and it takes the board so people that are playing Solomon great i think you get all oh, eight summons in a turn if you go the normal combo route like this is just going to go boop and then it's going to absorb all of that the thing is if you're going to special summon this you are doing it in your opponent's turn um you're going to probably special this in defense and what you really don't want them to do is to be able to special summon and do some crazy amount of piercing but you know it is what it is um it has chance to just break the combos down completely i fear this more than any other ones at the moment I don't think it's great at this exact moment in time, but we shall see. You know, there's there's no harm in picking up three copies of these things. You know, you're going to get all the stuff in the tins as you go through and get them anyway. So bonus. Um, uh, I have seen people that are playing Pendulum that say they fear this quite a lot. I don't know. I really don't know. Um, pendulum have ways of negating monster effects before the fifth summon comes up so the great thing would be if you could just get that monster negate up first i don't think there's a hand trap that directly resolves around this um maybe if you were to chain in something like uh uh what's the word Trickstar Reincarnation while they trigger this so that it still still is in hand and then it gets banished. That's a potential. Um, and then fizzles. Maybe. But we could just see, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's the three guys. See what you think. These are going to have significant changes in the game for us. I mean, these are all Prismatic Secret Rare as well, so very nice. Um, but yeah, that's it. We'll see you on the next one.